we've just traveled to we've just traveled to Prague we're here today and tomorrow and then we're going back to Austria but it should be just enough time to explore the city a little bit check out what coffee shops and restaurants this place has to offer I think this is gonna be a very awesome day we just checked into our hotel room which is actually pretty nice it's huge the room is huge and the bathroom is nice and clean and it's all very modern so I, I like that Nelly's here researching some Coffee, shops. coffee shop options and food options. Yeah. Michael needs coffee and food. I'm hungry already. We're here in the Czech Republic, which is north of Austria. And Prague itself is about a three and a half hour ride away from Linz, where we live in now. It has a population of 1.26 million, which is comparable to Vienna. And the Czech Republic is slightly bigger than Austria. Austria has like 8 million people and the Czech Republic has 10 million. Prague is the 14th largest city in the European Union and historically was also the Bohemian capital which means it was the capital of the Bohemian Kingdom. Anything you would like to add? Yes, uh, Czech Republic, fun fact, is number one country when it comes to beer consumption in Europe. I did not know that. Let me guess, Austria is number two? Yeah. So the reason why I'm blabbering on about the facts of Prague and about the Czech Republic is the last few weeks that we were in Miami, we spent some time with David's been here and I just loved in his video that he gives useful facts about the places where he is. So I'm trying to do a similar thing. I'm trying to give you some information about the we, places we where inspired. we are. We got inspired by David. <laughs> This is strenuous, David. This is strenuous. <laughs> it really is. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below if you if you like those little stories, little facts that I give you um, for of the new places that we're visiting. And also, let us know if you have any facts yeah. about Prague or the Czech Republic. We should know. What she said. <laughs> Top 10 list of most crazy Uber drivers in the history of our... This is what we call in German uh, a Büdezeichen. A Büdezeichen. So this is very typical for, you know, old towns in Europe. They've got the cobblestone everywhere. Uh, it's really pretty but really noisy and hard to make stable recordings if you're sitting in a car. like posh cousin it's yeah. called cafe lounge okay. amazing one with like natural wines amazing food mm. okay. i would go there for like brunch or okay. lunch Th thanks for your advice see you, see you tomorrow see you tomorrow yeah bye bye goodbye it's always nice when you're traveling and you go to a really cool coffee shop and you meet um, a coffee shop owner a barista because you automatically on the same page you if you're a barista you if you're a barista and I'm talking about a serious barista not like a Starbucks barista if you're a barista oh, that, say that maybe we have people who are working at Starbucks well doesn't change anything I mean just because you're a painter that paints walls white doesn't mean you're a painter that paints you know a drawing it's not yeah. the same thing and I'm sure many of you will agree that the skill set for a barista at Starbucks and a barista at a spirit coffee shop is completely different. Yeah. But in any case, 
just wanted to make that clear. I, I lost, I forgot what I wanted to say. You interrupted me now. Sorry. I forgot what I wanted to say. Connecting. I wanted person. to say that you, that automatically if you're a barista, you're also a foodie and you're also passionate about food and drink. And that's why it's always good to connect with a barista from a town where you're traveling to. Because you just get good advice. That place back there was an artisan butcher house, which is something that really excites me because you don't have that in Linz and you don't really have that in Miami either. That's what we were talking about before, that something like that would really be amazing in Miami yeah. because there's just no... There's you can no go to Whole Foods to the butcher, or you can go to Publix in the butcher, but an artisan butcher that makes his own sausages <laughs> and, and all of that, you don't have that there, and you also don't have it in Linz. This is the making of, of Mike's hyperlapse, I guess. Yes. <laughs> so what are you doing? I'm trying to make a moved time lapse by taking one step at a time, taking a picture, taking another step, taking another picture and basically I got one point on this picture that I'm always focusing at and that way hopefully when I put everything together it'll be a pretty steady time lapse but it's the first time that I'm doing it and actually I'm just guessing I'm guessing that this is the way you do it. I don't Tri know. Trial and way. error. Trial and error, that's it. Yeah. The only thing is, if it's error, it's a very time intensive error. <laughs> How many pictures are you taking? I need 100 pictures to get four seconds of time lapse. 100? Yeah. Okay, so do you mind if I take a walk? Um, I'm actually by 57 already. Really? Okay. <laughs> city of Prague which is basically kind of the historical quarter I think we are going to have a glass of wine somewhere before we yes, let's do that. before we head on over to our dinner location we are celebrating that we have 5,000 yes. subscribers this week yes which is amazing so next stretch goal is 10,000 subscribers and 1 million views <laughs> This, by the way, is our hotel for this day. What? <laughs> We're looking for some wine. Oh, look, they have wine! Yeah, that's what I said. What is it? 
white <laughs> and red. Oh my god, you know how long I haven't had a Snickers? Mm, like forever? <gasps> Pico Pala. No! It's like one glass of wine. A fiatal. Well, how much is it? Um, 1,900? 75. 75? 26.3? Yeah. That's not too bad. 3 euro. It's not bad. <laughs> so, are we, are we having wine or Yes, what? <laughs> we're having wine. I'm just waiting for you to procure it. Okay. Oh, you have to charge money onto the room card first. What? What happens if we just push, if we just shove our credit card in there? 